plan for Ishka and I was to buy an old work van and spend three months following our noses from northern Scotland to West Africa. Third one, in. In the last episode, we started our journey in northern Europe, fitting out the van and hitting the road, exploring Ireland and Scotland. The brief in time. After scoring some incredible waves in Scotland, we saw there was a huge swell destined for the Moroccan coast and made a big call to skip the rest of Europe and drive more or less 3,000 miles to meet the swell. Ah! <laughs> Did a U turn into the petrol station right in front of a police car and he just sort of was not impressed. He was kind of gnarly at the start. He was really mad. Yeah. Not so. Ishka is then pulled over his breath, getting breath tested. And they've taken all our paperwork. Not really sure what's happening at the moment. Oh, it's five in the morning. I've had half an hour's sleep. I feel weird. I feel so out of By now, we had been driving for a few days straight. We felt crazy to be missing the beautiful places and all the epic waves through the rest of Europe, but we were on a mission to get to Africa. We decided to stop in the Basque country just long enough to catch up with a couple of friends, Kepa and John. Kepa has always inspired me with his travels to far off destinations, so it was great to have a surf with him and pick his brains before our journey south. By the time we were back on the road, a big weather system had started to form out of the Atlantic Ocean, which meant we were now on a race against time, fearing that the ferry to Morocco wouldn't be able to cross the Gibraltar Strait because of the wild seas. And we had a couple of days rest in between, service the car, some new wheels, and catch up on a bit of sleep. And now we're back at it again. So I think the ferry is running because uh, there's a few things that's around. Yeah, it's going to be interesting when we see the ocean, hey? In the last sort of like five days, we've probably driven from north of Scotland. The plan is to end up in Africa tomorrow. It's so windy and rainy. And yeah, heaps as well, like eight meters. Hey, bro. So, no boats from. He told to me that no boats because of the bad weather. That's so heavy. Torres, call me. Very important. There are ferries from Malaga to Melilla. The 
Estrellar Operating right now. John. Hey, brother. Really good news. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, have, you have to go to Malaga. <laughs> okay, where's that? It is like one hour and a half for two hour driving for who you are now. They are operating normally, no problem. Okay, you are a legend. Thank you so much. No, no, We're on no. the way. Big barrels. <laughs> <-hoo>, big barrels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. What's the time? We are boarding a big brick. Right, it's gonna be a scramble to get a, get a seat, huh? Somewhere to rest the head. We thought the dream was over until we got a call from our mate John. The new route added an extra 11 hours to our trip, but it meant we were able to get to Morocco. If all went well, we could still make it for the swell. Six stars. We're in Morocco, we're in, in Morocco, Morocco, Morocco. Freedom! Absolutely elated to finally be in Morocco. I'd been dreaming of coming here for as long as I can remember. The last time I was in Europe, my friends and I were on our way to Morocco when I badly injured my knee and had to fly home for surgery while they continued on. I was so rattled at the time and for a decade I dreamed of making it here one day. The feeling of crossing into Africa was surreal. It really felt like we'd totally disconnected from the world we were familiar with. The new smells, language barriers and vibrant culture. To finally make it here in one piece honestly felt like a dream come true. It had been a long and tiring mission. We were in desperate need of a good night's sleep and eager to see what the ocean was going to look like in the morning. Second. Oh my god!
can't even begin to explain the feelings we had after that first session. Ishka and I just kind of looked at each other, pretty much speechless. The feeling after surfing waves of that quality was almost euphoric. The energy, the new smells drifting off the land, along with the atmosphere in and out of the water, it was so incredible. I couldn't believe we'd finally made it and everything had come to fruition. Welcome to Morocco. I love travelling as a surfer. It's really incredible where surfing can take you and the people that you meet along the way. Sharing such profound moments with complete strangers can create such a unique connection, and I feel like there's so much to learn from this. I met Matt in the lineup as we were trading some of the best waves of our lives together. Matt's another traveller who's from Western Australia and was there for the same reason we were. We ended up spending the next few weeks crossing paths and sharing some of the most memorable sessions and times of our lives.
The first glimpse of the waves in this area was some of the best I'd ever seen, let alone surfed. We were settling right into life in Africa. Bed's a bit messy. My bed. Yeah, make my bed. I feel that touch in that zone. <laughs> hey, doggo. Talk about, um, Sprucing up. You're going all out with the toes. Get a few whiffs of either my feet or the shoes. <laughs> Could be anything. Could just be the eternal gonna... stench of the van. <laughs> oh yeah, I can smell that. Feel bad when I put my head down. You can, huh? What is that? It's definitely like... Coming from this region, huh? Foot smell. They, they just smell like leather popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was finally slowing down for us. Rain clouds were almost a distant memory and a few days without waves gave us some time to catch up on a bit of rest and reset the senses.
Ishka and I have been best mates for years. I can't imagine doing these kind of trips with anyone else. We've spent months and months on end sleeping within six feet of each other, through thick and thin, and I can't remember ever having an argument, or even a disagreement. Most likely to his credit, because he has to be one of the most patient and easygoing people I know. Ishka and his partner Serika were expecting their first baby just a few months after we were due to return home, and I knew it may be our last big trip together for a while. It's great when Ishka gets to put the camera down and cruise along a few waves. I think we surfed, laughed and bantered more together this trip than we had in our whole lives, sharing some of the most memorable moments in some of the wildest places we'd ever seen. It was so good to be sharing these times with Ish. And it'll be something that we'll look back on for the rest of our lives and be extremely grateful for. I'm not going 
The first few weeks in Morocco had been mind-boggling. Not only the waves, but the kindness and generosity of the Moroccan people. The food, country and weather had been so good to us, and Donna had hardly even skipped a beat. Moroccan people are so friendly and would regularly welcome us into their homes, share gifts, meals and stories. Sometimes we would spend hours with someone without even speaking the same language, but their hospitality and kindness would be so warm and sincere. We live in such a beautiful world, but it can be easily misconstrued from what we read, hear, or see on television. And it's so easy to let fear and uncertainty rule our lives. Behind all cultures, languages, and religions, there's almost always the same set of values that connect us all. The more I travel, I find that kindness is such an important trait of the human experience. And some of the most memorable times I've had travelling have started with a simple greeting or acknowledgement. It's amazing how just sharing an experience, such as a meal, a wave, or a simple smile or handshake, can speak so many languages and make you forget about all the craziness in the world. next episode, we continue making our way down the Moroccan coast, winding our way through the Atlas Mountains and into the depths of the Western Sahara. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that?